Hello everybody, so in today's video I'm gonna show you how to get mods for Minecraft Java running Forge on your Mac computer. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to your web browser and I will have links in the description if you're interested but simply go to your search bar and search up for Forge Minecraft like so. Once you hear this, you should see files.minecraftforge.net. Simply click on the link and this will send you to the homepage for Forge. What you want to do here is simply go ahead and choose what Minecraft version you want to play. I am just going to choose the latest Minecraft version. And you can either click the installer or if your mod requires a specific Forge version, you can go and show all versions and you have other Forge versions as well. So. In this case, what we can do here is simply go ahead and click the installer and here we're going to have a little add page and all you have to do here is couple, just wait a couple seconds here. You should see like a little skip button that shows up right here on the top right corner. Just click there and this will download you the Forge installer. Then all you want to do here is simply go to a new tab and you want to go ahead and get yourself a mod. And you can find mods by going to modwinf, like so. It's a website. And you should see modwinf.com here. Simply click on modwinf. And you should be sent to the modwinf homepage. Now, simply go on the top of the website to discover content. And then go down to mods. Then, all you want to do here is select which game version you have selected for Forge. So, for me, it was the latest one. And you want to go down and choose Forge. And there you go. These are all the available mods for the same version as you selected and for Forge. So, for example, what we can do here is take Xero's minimap, you just have to click on the name of any mod, and this will bring you to this page. All you want to do here is simply go and find the versions tab here, and once you have this, you simply want to go to game versions, select the same game version you did before, and you to go on platform and select Forge. And now you have all the files you can get for this specific mod. So for example, if we go to the little green download button here, we are going to be downloading the mod and in some cases, if you go to the name of the mod, you might have dependencies which are required, this one is optional, and if they're required, you might also need to download them as well to make the mod work. If not, the game might crash. So once you have this sorted out, all you want to do here is simply go to a new tab and you might need to get yourself Java, so JDK23, like Java for Mac. And here we see Java downloads. I will have this website in the description as well. And basically, what this website is, it is just downloads for Java 23 and 21. We just want to get ourselves Java 23 here, the latest. And then you want to go to macOS. Once you have this, you can either choose if you have an AMP computer or a Intel computer. So in this case, I will have to go with the M version. And here we're going to be able to have our Java download. We need Java to run the Forge installer basically. Okay, once this is sorted out, all you want to do here is close your web browser and you simply want to open up your downloads folder. Okay, so once you download your all like everything you need basically, you here you should have in your downloads folder your Java, your Forge, and your mods. And the first thing you want to do here is double click the Java installer. Here we have a package, double click that again. And here we have a little installer. So all you want to do here is simply go ahead and go to continue, continue, and install. It might ask for a password, so just imp like just import it here, just add it in, it's your computer's password. And here we have Java installed. So we can just close this. It will ask us if you want to keep it or print the trash. We'll just do trash to clean up the files here. And the next thing you want to do is double click the forge installer. Here it is going to say it is not opened, so just do done. You want to close this basically, and this will let you go to your top left corner to your Apple logo and then your system settings. Once you're here, all you want to do is scroll down to privacy and security, and then you want to scroll down again to the bottom where you can find the blocked file. Just go and open anyway, and then open anyway. Here it is going to ask us to put our touch ID or password. I'll just do the touch ID real quick and we're done. Here we have the forge installer so we can just do install client and there you go. 
So we now have Forge and all we need to do here is simply go ahead and go to our Minecraft launcher. With the Minecraft launcher, we will be able to check if we indeed have Forge, which we do. And this means we can go to the installations tab here. And then we can go and hover over Forge and go to the folder icon. Here we have the Minecraft files and here we have a mods folder. Now if you don't have like a mods folder, what you want to do here is simply go ahead and make one by double clicking new folder and you can rename this to mods if you don't have a mods folder. So yeah, but in this case we have a mods folder so we are good. So once you have yourself a mods folder, just go ahead and double click this, it should be empty. You want to have this page open like this, so your mods with nothing. Then you want to go to your downloads, like file here. Then you want to go ahead and go and select Exebos. You want to copy it. So let's just copy that. That can be a multiple mods, you just have to select multiple files. And you want to go and go to the little arrow here to go back to mods. Then, then you want to leave this to go back to the Minecraft folder. Then you want to double click mods and now you can edit it. Just double click here and paste. And there you go. Now you can go to play in your Minecraft launcher here. You should have Forge here, just go and play. And this will just work, so there you go. So basically what we did here, we just imported a random mod, so in this case Exabos, to our Forge installation here. So here we can see that we have Minecraft running, great. And we can also see that we have some mods, which is Exabos minimap. Okay, so now we can go to single player and a new world. And we can go out and test out the mod, and indeed on the top left corner, we can see that Xebo's minimap is working. So yeah, that's how we get mods for Forge on Mac. So, if you liked today's video, make sure to like and subscribe, and see you for the next one. Bye!